Hello. So welcome to my show. Now, I think I'm going to name it. I'm not a doctor or a nurse or a scientist. It's just me. That's probably going to be the name to my show. Okay. So what am I doing here? I'm reusing a jar. I don't re usually typically throw jars away. Sometimes I collect even bags and I actually end up needing them, right? <laughs> so I don't have to take a trip down to to the dollar store or anywhere to get Ziploc bags because they come in my bread. My bread comes in them. Why not reuse them, right? But anyway, here we go. So you see that white and brown stuff in there? I'm creating layers, okay? So let me create another layer of coconut sugar. Now, I never cared for coconut sugar, but even my sister who hates vitamins and to take care of herself started to take it because her husband is a lot more like me than he is like her. And uh, he got her to switch from, from sugar, probably saved her life. If she's, you know, I, I believe she'll owe her life to him because she's a sugar freak. And so I'm just putting a little bit of this because stevia is very, very sweet, okay? And then, oops, wrong bag. And then I'll put another bag of coconut sugar. Since it's not too sweet, that's why I'm mixing it with stevia, okay? I hope that's not too much. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the layering. And I'm going to, because they do sell the stuff mixed, but it's like an arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why not just do it yourself at home, right? So then I'm going to keep this in there. And instead of, if you want to use a, a fancy sugar, sugar, uh, container fine. I may replace the one I use. You know, I use this typically, but uh, I'm probably going to replace it eventually with permanent and save my life, right? I'm, I'm going for the gusto because I found out that sugar not only gets you fat, uh, not only does it give you diabetes, none of that scared me. None of that scared me. But when I learned that it could give you Alzheimer's, and Alzheimer's is really cancer of the brain. I said, hold up now. Now I'm listening. Okay. So now I'm going to shake this really well. You see some of the white in there. Shake it this way. Shake it that way. Shake it up and down. Sideways. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Right. I see a lot of stevia considering the little bit of that I was putting. Right. The little chunks. So it's okay if you see some snowflakes, right? That's a stevia, right? Okay, so I'm zipping this up. And typically, let me show you my, my trick of zipping up stuff, right? Because I'm a prepper, I learned how to zip things up. I got this thing which has to do with zipping up bags. So if you have arthritis, this is the way to go. And you see how there's no air? <laughs> you learn... You live and learn, right? Now, stevia is hard because this is like powder. This is like sugar powder kind of thing. So it's pretty hard to do this. But I'm not going to push it. I'm just going to... And that way I don't have to open it each and every time I need a sweetener. Okay? So... Then I come back and I do it from here. And you see, you could tell that it's zipped because it's pretty tight. They're both pretty tight. Tight packaging. Give me credit for at least is the one little trick. Okay, so now I can't drink caffeine. Uh, maybe it's a heart condition. Um, it's not as bad as most people that uh, they go crazy. But me, I get hypertension. And I only learned that I have hypertension. And by the way, this is why I drink this. This, <laughs> I don't need caffeine. I also drink decaf. So, you know, it's the holidays. And there's no such thing as pumpkin flavored coffee for decaf. And even decaf itself, if you drink like one every day, sometimes there may be a little caffeine in there. Um, if it's chemically processed, usually there's no caffeine. But then again, that's not very healthy, is it? Um, if it's water processed, there's plenty of caffeine in there. And I have delicious Holy Ghost coffee from a uh, Christian ministry. Uh, but because it's water processed, the caffeine... Um, it's slower than regular caffeine coffee, but say by the fifth day of drinking one cup a day, I'm becoming nasty. I'm, I'm definitely not myself. And then I'm like, did I have caffeine? 
after I've ruined my relationship with people probably, right? And um, so that's the story with me and caffeine, okay? So Carafix is a good choice. Now, I order these by the bunches, so I I'm, keeping, I'm keeping the jars, right? Why not, right? So by the way, I use this instead of milk. I already eliminated milk pretty much out of my diet. I mean, I do have ice cream and don't think I'm going crazy to that degree. But I, I use this in my coffee. And so it really, really replaces coffee. R very good. Not all MCT oil <laughs> are equal. I don't know what they put in this. I'm trying to investigate it. I'm writing them. I'm writing them. I'm writing them. And I'm not getting... They're not giving me the ingredients. I need to know what they're putting. I think Because this is not the same as regular coconut oil. It's not greasy. It doesn't stick to the top. Usually, that's what happens. This one, eventually, in hot water, um, hot coffee, I'm going to show you Okay, how it works, right? So now, I'm going to put a little sugar in here, my created sugar, right? <clears throat> and this is a lot. This is more than what I've been taking, and it's been tasting good, okay? So now, this is, I just want to share this with you because some people don't want sugar in the diet, but you could cover that. Or if you don't want caffeine, right? Nobody wants to sell you caffix, that's for sure. Uh, decaf coffee, nobody wants to sell that to you either. So now I'm going to pour my coffee in here. Nice. I do like my, my cup of joe every so often. So this is what I do. Since I'm using MC3 as milk, do you see that it's not really caking up much? I think that they mix it with fiber, if you ask me. Because when I first started taking it, it was sending me to the bathroom. Which is not bad, anyway. Mm, oh my goodness, that tastes good. That's a good treat. That's my candy for the day. So I keep it covered like that while I get my toast and stuff like that. And by the time I come back, all that white stuff is sort of... Almost makes it look like cappuccino. Okay? So I've shared a few things here. And no, I don't have the prettiest things. I do have some nice things that I bought from uh, Salvation Army or Goodwill that I could show off on some of my future shows. And I will be giving them away once I've used them uh, because I don't have that much room. I have bought them actually for filming videos like this. So why am I using ugly stuff? I don't know. Anyway, this cast iron and this keeps it warm pretty fast, pretty good. So now you could, you could mix coconut sugar with stevia. You could mix monk fruit with stevia why with stevia because nothing is ever as sweet as sugar right um they sell it mixed in the market it's, it's pretty expensive so why not make your own at home today thank you for watching have a great day please hit the subscribe button uh give me a thumbs up will ya and if you could i'd love to hear from you send me a comment will ya and have a wonderful day as you share my links with your friends and loved ones bye bye now